What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Teddy. Today we're continuing on with Arcane episode 8 called Oil and Water, which don't mix. I'm assuming what they're referring to is Piltover versus the Undercity. Oh my god, the last episode was so, so damn epic. I watched it so many times, especially the beginning and the end. I just, I can't get over it. It was so well done. I can't, e I can't even explain it and put it into words, honestly. For the moment, I don't think anything can top this. Episode seven, hands down, is my favorite. I'm gonna be positive about it and assume that neither of them died. <laughs> anyway, let's see what's in store episode eight no fancy intro this time around oh we're getting a mail backstory oh that's right she received like a letter that i'm assuming is probably from her family that banished her your grandfather brought me to the aftermath of the battle of hildenar he offered me a gold coin for every blade I retrieved from the forum. Said we needed the steel. But I knew it was a lie. He wanted me to know death. Okay. Kino says war is a failure of statecraft. Your brother thinks he can talk his way out of anything. Perhaps she could be my daughter. You'd give me a throne. I oh, it's her give mother. You the world, child. If you prove you can take it. So her mother was like a vicious warrior essentially. And there's like what should we do with her? Completely different oil and water. Kill her now. Only one must die. Let her live and you may need to kill thousands. We can show the people we are merciful. A wolf has no mercy. Whoa! She looks great with her hair like that. Okay, so kind of weird childhood. I'm surprised her mother didn't raise her to be a warrior like her. Oh, Soko at the scene. Jeez. They realized it wasn't just a fireworks show. Oh my god! What? It was all for nothing. Right. Oh, this got so messy. Now they're gonna have to go back and retrieve it again. A massacre. Sir, secured the area. I've got orders to escort you back into the city. <laughs> Sir? Yeah, no. <laughs> Ew. So she knows war. Okay. I guess she knows what she's also talking about with like the weapons and getting ready. Who lives here? Another counselor friend of yours? <laughs> Whoa! Okay, mom. Damn. Caitlin, thank goodness you're safe. And you found a stray. This is Vi. She's from the Undercity. You understand you've broken several laws. She was doing what she thought was right. <laughs> okay, dad. I'll well, take responsibility. You're a counselor's daughter. Having to choose between a kingpin who wants to exploit them in a government that doesn't give a shit. Oh, right. Now that she's been exposed to how they live. I'm sure our daughter could use some rest after her adventures. Her dad's great. <laughs> we love a supportive dad. I'll schedule an audience. Schedule. Her family is pretty chill, to be honest. All things considered. Are severe. You think I can't see that? 
Oh my god. I believe I can Is he gonna inject her with shimmer? The process would be the bad thing. No Sometimes way. death is a mercy. Yeah, for real. She can take it. I must know. Oh no. Are you prepared to lose her? <coughs> Jinx. Jinx. She won't die, Doctor. She can't. Please understand this is for your own sanity. Oh. I too once had a daughter. Silco isn't taking guests. Not a problem. Wasn't here oh. for him. Thought I might bend you here. When I ask my mates what Silco's up to, your names first start at their mouth. Sevika is out in the harbor. Oh, Sevika paid the knucklehead some visit. Sevika. You're a scary lady. I know. This is your plan. Undermine Silco by making to her horse play of my ego. Yeah. Gotta hand it to you, Finn. Every time I think you can't get dumber, you dig a new love. Let's be plain then. He's slipping. A little bit, Madison yeah. He's devolving into chaos. And somehow I get the feeling he isn't up there balancing book sheets. You aren't the only one dissatisfied with his performance. It's like everyone There's is. bigger fish than Silco. Hey, listen. She betrayed Vander. What's to tell she won't do it again? Why did she get banished? Yeah. Elora, you didn't have to come out to meet me. It's been over a decade, Mel, since you banished me. Such drama. I sent you here to oversee our family's interests and grow yourself. Which you have. You said, perhaps your sentimentality will be more at home with those soft-spined idealists overseas. Oh, shit. You have your father's memory. Hey. Don't try to ingratiate yourself with me. I Mel, mean, she's different. That. She's just not built the same way mom is. is gone. Oh, he died. What happened? I was distracted. That's a mistake I can't take back. Oh, so now she knows that just Your talking doesn't has work. His eye to hextech weaponry. I knew it. War is coming. You've let the problems of your undercity fester too long. I'm here to help guide you to the right decisions. I don't need your guidance. We'll see. Miss Medarda. Medarda. Yes. yes. I'm off to sample the local cuisine. All right. <laughs> we'll present our case to the council. Tonight. Oh, tonight. Right. No monster's gonna get you and I'm here. And a real monster showed up. And I just ran away. So what actually happened? I don't know if that's a stupid question. No stupid questions, the way they used to say in class. Oh god. Because they were taken in by Vander, but what was the thing that attacked them? Oh, okay, we're going with the uh, shimmer shit. I'm guessing she has like schizophrenia amongst other things. She's tip top. Oh god. What have you done? I saved her life. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she just looks really like cute. Amongst all the violence. It's like anyone from the top side, every time they come down, they realize how bad it is in the other city and they're like, oh. Oh shit, okay. Ooh. Huh? Wow! Like this. Oompa, what do you call that in English? Get away from her. Oh, Oompa. 
genius. <laughs> Though these blades seem improperly pitched. You're wrong. It's designed for the fissures. Oh, okay, Dincer. Thank God. Huh. Are you all right, lad? I don't know how I'm gonna get down there with my leg busted, and well, you're holding my ride. Oh. Half of it, anyway. Mama's living her best life. It's um, Counselor Talis, and I'm not sure. The title. The Alorian general, Sonam Palak, used to find ways to meet his enemies blindfolded. Do you know what the success rate for senior academy inventors is? Three percent. We're no strangers to failure. What makes this the city of progress is that we keep trying until we get it right. What about war? So thank you for your advice, Mrs. Medorda. But I have a city to run. <laughs> I see why this province and my daughter have fallen for you. If you don't accept certain realities, I fear you'll end up like General Parlek, slaughtered with your eyes closed. Oh. Three of my suppliers have said they intend to delay shipments until fall to give things. He's talking time about to inventions. We have She's talking about like war. Profits. The sheriff betrayed us. To dog the investigations of Silco. They yielded no such level of organization. And who led these investigations? Marcus, probably. What does the Silco even want from us? The right. The under city should be independent. He oh. calls it the nation of Zorn. What? What about these? Do you know who made them? No. Well. Yes. Uh, her name is Jinx. Then we have to go in by force. That could trigger war. Yeah. But there are good people down there. Hm. Bad ones too. Even if we wanted to invade, they have shimmer. We've been talking about talking for weeks now. They're still cleaning the blood off the bridge. When do we say enough is enough? Jace, you don't know war. I do. Mm. It must be our love. It really resort. comes down to that. There may be a diplomatic solution. She's right. But also, I don't know. I get him, but what? just. You want to negotiate with him? You can't talk to him. He hates yeah. you. Everything you stand for. He will You just come barge again, down. guns blazing, and you won't be prepared. Enforcers, please. But it's like who makes out. the first move? Forget it. I remember where your fancy damn door is. We'll make a new plan. We have to try. We tried, okay? It wasn't enough. Yeah, if Top it's not breaking through with the water, that's all yeah. there is. Yeah. Be breaking what through with the us? council then. What about us? Oil and water. Was it meant to be? You're just saying that. Do yourself a favor, Cupcake. Go back to that big, shiny house of yours and just forget me. Okay? Oh yeah, Victor! Bro, we like forgot about you! Oh my god, no way. Worked, but for how long? Oh, 
Why did she like... He like Thanos snapped her. Soko pay for what he's done. I could have you arrested. You guys really like to bandy that threat around. You ever been to Stillwater? I want to make Silco pay. I want in. There is no in. <laughs> I heard the council. Fuck the council. You said you were tired of doing nothing. Oh, I'm we're not going up against it. yeah, the council. You're a victim. Yo, I called that shit. This so people notice you when you raise your hand in the boardroom? <laughs> yeah. We built them for mining the fissures. You're the one she trusted to do something. This is weird teamwork. I never imagined both of them what to be working to together with us. Arrest him? Silco controls the Undercity with Shimmer. Shut down his supply and it's only a matter of time before his own people turn on him. And how do we do that? Take out They've already started turning on him. Hit him hard and fast before he can react. So, what's the good We got a deal, pretty boy. Her way with words. <laughs> hey, the methylamine. I mean, the shimmer. Just needs a big old B. like the game that's his weapon choice press oh they're just like on standby You're gonna let all the women do the work for you? Yes! <laughs> hey! I see you, Violet. He sure knows how to handle it, though. Damn. Weapons really badass. <laughs> oh, the kid. Oh, God. Okay, so they managed to stop everything, but. What's it gonna be, Caitlin? Oh shit. Uh -huh. 
find you. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, no! She's not gonna kill her, is she? Is she? Knowing how extreme Jinx is and how far she takes things, I wouldn't put it past her. <laughs> Chase and Violet, what the heck? Oh my god, Victor. <gasps> What the fuck was that? Why did she just turn into dust? The cube changed as well. Victor didn't want to let go either, so that's like a whole mess on its own way. I don't know if he lets go, if something else is gonna happen, if he's gonna turn into dust as well. It just a lot of questions on how this thing works, to be honest. I know people told me that a season two is apparently confirmed, but when it's gonna come out is obviously, that's a different story if it's gonna be next year or the year after. It's getting pretty crazy. I know we're gonna get to like the climax of it all and then nothing. We're just gonna have to wait until season two. <laughs> it was building up and then season two is just gonna be the war. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, the last one, on, I think it's Saturday. Goodbye.